In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the numerical solution of a differential equation using the Runge-Kutta method. The Runge-Kutta method is shown right here, all the formulas that we need, and the question reads, find the approximate solution to y prime is equal to x squared over y with the boundary condition where y is equal to 2 when x is equal to 3. Calculate y for x is equal to 3 to 10 in steps of 1. If you've been following the videos before this, we did this exact same example except with the modified Euler's method and the original Euler's method. So let's see how this technique compares to those two. To start, what you have to do is find out what your slope is, and we're going to call that slope mp, or m sub p. And technically, to find the slope of a differential equation, you substitute the point that you've been given, which is 3 and 2. So I'll substitute these values into here, giving me 3 to the power of 2 over 2. That's 9 over 2, which is equal to 4.5. We just found m sub p. Once you find m sub p, you need to use it to find y sub r. And to find y sub r, we take our previous y coordinate, which in our case is 2, and we add it to the value we just found for m sub p. Multiply to the steps, which in our case is 1, divided by 2. So 1 over 2, and technically, this is equal to delta x over 2. If we calculate this, we should end up with a y sub r value of 4.25. Once you have found y sub r, you need to find m sub r. So I'm going to write that down, m sub r. Now to find this, we use the formula shown here, where m sub r is equal to the derivative, our derivative, evaluated at x is equal to our previous x value. Our previous x value was 3 plus delta x over 2. Delta x was 1 divided by 2 is half. So 3 plus 0 0.5, that's our x coordinate, so 3.5. And the y coordinate will be our previous y, which was 2, plus the slope that we found previously, and that was 4.5, times, once again, 0 0.5. If we plug this into our calculator, we should end up with 4.25. So I'm going to evaluate it at 3.5 and 4.25. Our formula was x squared over y is equal to 3.5 squared over 4.25. If we put this in our calculator, we should end up with approximately 2.882. I just found m sub r. Now I need to find y sub s. To find y sub s, I'll take once again our previous y plus what I just found for m sub r, 2.882, multiply that by 1 over 2, delta x over 2. Putting this all in our calculator should give us 3.441. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did for m sub r with m sub s. So using the formula x squared over y, and 3.5 won't change. However, y will. The reason why that will change is because we take 2 plus our previous slope times half. And that's shown right here. So the x-coordinate stays at 3.5. The y-coordinate will be 2 plus 2.882 times half. Let me show you. 2 plus 2.882 multiply to our stepwise, which is 1, divided by 2, 0.5. That gives us the y-coordinate. I'll write that down over here, 3.441. Let's find out what m sub s is equal to. 3.5 to the power of 2 divided by 3.441, and this gives us 3.56, 3.56. Finally, once you found m sub s, you need to find y sub q. To find y sub q, we use this formula right here, where it's equal to the previous y, 2 plus the average, and we just found our slope to be 3.560, multiply to this time delta x, 1. Let me write that down underneath. 2 plus 3.56 times delta x, which was 1. This should give us 5.560. Using 5.560, I can find out what m sub q is equal to. The formula for m sub q is right here, where you take your previous x, my previous x was 3, plus 1, that's 4, 
and our previous y, which was 2, plus m sub s, which I found previously to be 3.56 times 1. Therefore, we have 4 and, using my calculator, 2 plus the answer that was on my screen, 5.56. Let's go substitute that to get our slope, mq. x squared over y is equal to 4 to the power of 2 over 5.560. This should give you 2.878. Let me highlight all these slopes that I found. This one, this one, this one, and earlier, this one. Lastly, I'll find out what m average is by using this formula. 1 over 6 times mp plus 2 times m sub r plus 2 times m sub s plus m Q. I'll show my work on the side. m average is equal to 1 over s, m sub p was 4.5, plus 2 times m sub r, which happens to be 2.882, plus 2 times m sub s, which is 3.56, plus m sub q, which is 2.878. Now using our calculator, we have, I'm going to add all of these up first, 4.5 plus 2 bracket 2.882 plus 2 bracket 3.56 plus 2.878 Divide this all by 6, and we get 3.377. Using what I just found, I'm going to correct what I got for yq by writing out y sub q corrected is equal to my previous y, which was 2, plus 3.377, and that will give us 5.377. Therefore, my second point, as shown in this table, is 5.377 with an x-coordinate of 4. Let's see how this compares to the modified Euler's method. In the modified Euler's method, we got 5.48. But this one appears to be more accurate. 5.377 is closer to 5.354 than this number is to that number. And so there you have it. That is how to find a numerical solution using the Rung-Kuda method.